Welcome back to Dark Industry. Here we are with another video. Following years of contemplation, the US Air Force has finally decided to upgrade its 608 F-16 Block 40 and 50 in one of the largest modernization initiatives in history. Based on Lockheed Martin's black lock of F-16 orders, planned upgrades, and the recent revelation that the Air Force plans to depend on the fighter into the late 2030s, the F-16 Sunset years now could come in 2070s or later. The Air Force Life Cycle Management Center announced the F-16 fighter jets will get up to 22 modifications. The program aims to increase the lethality of aircraft and ensure that the fourth generation fighter can confront current and future threats. Lockheed Martin's black lock of 128 F-16 fighter jets, all for foreign military sales, won't be completed until 2026. Those jets might be flying into the late 2070s or later, with a service life of 40 years or more. 128 jets of Bahrain, Bulgaria, Slovakia, Taiwan, and another country company declined to name. Although Croatia and the Philippines have been mentioned as customers, these aircraft will be in the Block 70 72nd configuration, which includes new radar, displays, conformal fuel tanks, and other improvements over the Block 50 52nd version. The most recent flown by US Air Force, Lockheed is building F 16s at a rate about 4 per month at Greenville. Japan flies an F 16 variant called the F 2, but it performs all the work on that type. India is also considering buying an advanced F-16 version. Lockheed has dubbed the F-21, which Lockheed touts as having 12,000 hour service life, roughly 50% more than the ones US Air Force flies. At normal utilization, 12,000 hours is about 32 years of service. India would produce those jets indigenously. India is looking to buy 114 jets and Lockheed is partnered with Tata to build the jets if it wins the competition. Furthermore, in early 2021, to meet the growing demand for new F-16 Fighting Falcons from partner nations, the US Air Force had already partnered with Lockheed Martin to open a new production line to manufacture the F-16 Block 7072nd fighter aircraft. In November 2021, the United States Air Force flew the Northrop Grumman ANASQ-236 Dragon's Eye active electronically scanned array radar part on an operational F-16 Viper for the first time in 2021. Taiwan also operates the F-16 Viper variant. The Air Force wants to install the Dragon's Eye part on over 200 Air Guard and Reserve F-16 Vipers. The Dragon's Eye is already operational on the US Air Force F-15E Strike Eagle. The 22 modifications include an active electronically scanned array radar, new cockpit displays, a new mission computer, and a new database. The fighter will also receive next generation electronic warfare capability as well as communication suit upgrade, a center display unit, a programmable data generator, and several other key hardware components to modernize the aircraft. The complex project known as Post Block Integration Team is being led by the Air Force Life Cycle Management Center's fighters and Advanced Aircraft Directorate, which formulated the strategy to organize and install the upgrades on the aircraft. According to the press release, some of the changes have already begun and will continue for several years. Post Block Integration Team involves six major commands, more than 18 bases, multiple companies, and contracts worth $6.3 billion in total. Making sure we have the right modifications at the right time is crucial to the warfighter, said the first lieutenant Andrew Ellich, program manager of 16 program office. It requires effort and daily coordination to ensure there is a progress and communication with all programs related to this effort across all the bases involved. While this effort is a challenge, being able to keep the F-16 in the fight with the latest and greatest technology is the driving factor. I am thankful 
to have such experienced teammates to help tackle these complex daily tasks. It really takes all of us to keep this moving in the right direction, said Andrew Elledge. Thanks for watching everyone. If you want to see more exciting and interesting facts and videos, check our channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned with us. Hope to see you guys next time.